Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to create lens flare and how to apply it onto your image. So let's go ahead and begin. So you have your background image, okay, your layer, it's unlocked, right? And you want to play, a, uh, you want to apply a lens flare to your image and it's really easy and simple to do. First go over to filter, go down to render and go down to lens flare. And once you have your lens flare, you could go ahead and select up, uh, wherever your subject, your light subject is coming from. Since it's coming from our top left, we're going to go ahead and select top left. If it's coming from the top right, you would have to move it around so it's coming from our bright source or your light source, okay? I want it to come through our, our our lady here. And you can increase or decrease the uh, brightness if you'd like to. I'm going I'm to keep it in between just like this 130% and click OK and there you go you have your lens flare now it's too intrusive it's too bright it's too um, I mean we have our lens flare right that's that's what we want but say it's too uh, it's too strong so we can just decrease our opacity but if you start to decrease the opacity you see that it actually affects our layer which is our background so that's the bad thing of uh, creating a lens flare on your actual layer your background layer so what I do is I create a new layer, create a new layer on top of our background, and it should be translucent, and go over to press shift delete, uh, and this will make a, open up the fill window, and you could uh, fill with black. So make sure you fill it with black, and click OK. And then once you've done that, we're going to apply a lens flare. So go to the top, go to filter, go to render and lens flare, or you could do it the fast way and go to filter and lens flare, and you're done. And that would just apply the same exact thing that you have applied before because whatever you do in your filters here, it will apply it or it will just leave it to the top. So pretty much your recent, uh, whatever you've done to the filter option here. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going ahead, we're gonna go ahead and blend this to our background. Okay, so this is our background. We're gonna be blending that in. That's a good thing. That's a great thing that, that, that this is available. So click on this right here and go over to screen. You could choose any of other ones, but they won't. It won't look as great. Okay, so I choose screen. It's the best one. And now you can actually decrease the opacity without actually changing our background, which is really nice. I keep it around seventy to seventy-five percent. And uh, once you've done that, you could actually transform your lens flares. You can press Command T or Control T on, on a Windows, and you could um, make it smaller or you can make it bigger, depending on whatever you want. You could also change your, so let me go ahead and move your center point to our light source. And now you could move it around uh, to wherever you want, or what, to an angle of where you want the lens flare to be. So I want it to be going across the bench right here. I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to click check. And once you have done that, you can actually make a blur so it's not too, um, so it's not too strong. So I'm going to go over to filter. I'm going to go over to blur. Gaussian blur and once you have the Gaussian blur you could increase or decrease to the blur so you could pay attention to this right here so if I increase the blur you can see that it starts to kind of uh, go away a little bit so it's not too too uh, distracting over our image so I'm gonna keep it around 2.5 yeah there we go I'm gonna click OK and there you go you have your lens flare so if you wanted to like say I wanted to get rid of this thing right here so it's not on top of the bag well you could go over to our quick mask so click on this little button right here and go over to our brush and we're gonna make our brush a little bit bigger so by using your left bracket key that will make the brush smaller or your right bracket key will make it bigger and you want to go ahead and paint with I believe it's white or black it's black so paint with black and there you go now it's gone so you could just color that in uh, you could increase or decrease the hardness I keep it around 50 for this um, so yeah you could like take away this if you wanted to and it's really really cool that you could do with it that you could do this so that comes really in handy um so you could do, like move this right here and there you go so if this helps you in any way please please leave a rating below comment if you have any suggestions regarding this video or if you have any questions regarding this video and subscribe if you haven't already because i do post videos like this daily or I try my best to post them daily so yeah this is our before and after so yeah it makes a big impact on our photo so um you know, comment below what you, what uh, videos you want to see uh, tomorrow for another like any just any uh, tutorial um, is as as in Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, 
just tell me, leave a comment below, and I'll, I'll check on that. So, peace. Till next time, peace.